too bad. I'm sorry you can't stay to dinner. Uh, drop in again. If you don't mind, I'd like to say... The casting process for the 1938 movie involved thorough auditions and chemistry tests to find the perfect actors. Each key role was chosen after careful consideration of the actors' performances and how well they fit the character. Pivotal moments during auditions helped define the casting choices, such as when actors displayed exceptional chemistry together or delivered standout performances. These moments influenced the director and producers in their final decisions, shaping the ensemble cast of the film. Just do all four of you represent Mr. Kirby? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. The director of the 1938 movie had a clear vision for the film. Their creative influences shaped the storytelling style, emphasizing humor and heartwarming moments. By collaborating closely with the cast and crew, the director brought the characters to life authentically. The director's approach focused on capturing the essence of the story and highlighting the eccentricities of the characters. Through a combination of comedic timing and emotional depth, the director created a memorable movie experience for audiences of that time. The style employed was a blend of whimsical charm and genuine emotion, reflecting the director's unique perspective on the script. Collaborating with the cast and crew involved fostering a creative environment where ideas could flourish, resulting in a cohesive an engaging final product. Overall, the director's vision brought a timeless quality to the film, making it a classic in the history of cinema. Something about the fireworks and put it in the candy boxes. That would advertise the revolution. In the film, there are many funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up. So keep watching. Out of the various roles in the movie, which one was your favorite? Can you share how this movie has inspired or impacted your life? What is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the film? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Uh, Penny painted it. It stinks. During the production of the 1938 movie, various sets were meticulously designed to bring the story to life. The locations chosen for filming added authenticity to the scenes. The logistical challenges of filming included coordinating large casts and crews, ensuring equipment was in working order, and managing time efficiently. Innovative techniques and technologies like advanced lighting setups and sound recording equipment were employed to enhance the quality of the film. The production team's attention to detail and creativity resulted in a successful and memorable movie. Essie, darling, now let Reba have the kitchen all day tomorrow, won't you? She'll need it. Oh, yes. Released in 1938, the film tells the story of an eccentric family and their encounters with a rigid banker. Focusing on themes of love, acceptance, and pursuing one's passions, the movie portrays the clash between societal expectations and individual freedom. The characters, with their diverse personalities and quirks, add depth to the narrative, making it a heartwarming and thought-provoking watch. With its timeless messages about staying true to oneself and finding joy in life's simple pleasures, the film resonates with audiences across generations, reminding us of the importance of authenticity and kindness in a world often driven by material pursuits. Its engaging plot and memorable performances make it a classic worth revisiting, offering a glimpse into a bygone era, while delivering messages that remain relevant today. Did you get one of these? Sure, we have to get out in 10 days. No, 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 I can't understand. The creation of the film's score and soundtrack in the 1938 movie involved talented composers and musicians who worked to enhance the narrative and emotional tone of the film. The music was carefully crafted to match the scenes adding depth and emotion to the storytelling. Composers and musicians collaborated closely with the filmmakers to ensure that the music perfectly complemented the mood and atmosphere of the movie. Through orchestral arrangements, melodic themes, and harmonious tunes, the music in the movie helped evoke the intended emotions and immerse the audience in the unfolding story. Composers and musicians brought their expertise to the production 
using their skills to create a memorable musical experience that resonated with viewers long after the credits rolled. Bring in the Vanderhoffs. Vanderhoffs. In the world of movies, interesting stories often lurk behind the scenes. For instance, after a pivotal moment in Russian history in 1991, a famous actor played a role in getting a beloved film aired on Russian television. On another note, one actor holds the record for appearing in the most critically acclaimed American movies according to a prestigious film list showcasing his talent and versatility. Additionally, a lesser known fact involves a contract player directing a screen test for a musician vying for a part in the film. These details shed light on the intricate world of film production and the people who shape it. What happened? What happened? What happened? Well, a mouse went right past there. In the film, one of the most iconic scenes is a heartfelt family dinner where the characters come together in a moment of unity and joy. The director expertly captures the warmth and love in the air, creating a sense of belonging and togetherness among the actors. The cinematography enhances this scene with warm lighting and intimate framing, emphasizing the bond between the characters. Another standout moment is a comedic scene where chaos ensues during a game of charades. The actors deliver stellar performances, showcasing their comedic timing and chemistry on screen. The director's choice of quick cuts and dynamic camera angles adds to the hilarity of the situation, keeping the audience entertained. The impact of these scenes on the audience is profound. They evoke feelings of nostalgia, laughter, and warmth, drawing viewers into the world of the film. The filmmakers and actors have all expressed their fondness for these scenes, highlighting the joy they had in creating these memorable moments for the audience. The puppet, Mr. and Mrs. Kirby. In an interview for Turner Classic Movies, Ann Miller recounted a harrowing experience of abuse and injury while carrying Reese Milner's child. Samuel Hines, originally noticed by Robert Young, got his big break thanks to director Gregory LaCava. Known for his prolific collaboration with John Ford, Ward Bond holds a record for appearing in 26 films directed by a single filmmaker. Bond's enduring partnership with Ford remains a standout achievement in Hollywood history. Suppose you're very proud of yourself. Another victory. The greatest... The film from 1938, You Can't Take It With You. Connected with audiences by portraying themes of family, love, and the pursuit of happiness. Its comedic and heartwarming storytelling captivated viewers and offered a message of embracing individuality and non-conformity. Through its quirky characters and light-hearted approach to serious topics, the film brought a sense of joy and hope to a society facing economic challenges during the Great Depression. This resonated with audiences seeking escapism and a reminder of the importance of human connections over material wealth. You Can't Take It With You influenced pop culture by showcasing a diverse and eccentric family, challenging societal norms, and promoting the idea that true wealth lies in relationships and personal fulfillment. The movie's success sparked discussions on the value of family, personal freedom, and social acceptance, encouraging viewers to question traditional expectations and embrace their unique identities. Overall, the film left a lasting impact on cultural attitudes towards individualism, family dynamics, and the pursuit of happiness inspiring generations to prioritize love and happiness above societal pressures. Take energy from the rays of the sun and store it up. You see, that that's how the heat and power... And in the film, notable actor Ian Wolfe appeared in three Best Picture Academy Award winners alongside other renowned actors. Lionel Barrymore, one of the Barrymore siblings, shared the screen with various family members in different films over the years. Additionally, Jean Arthur received special recognition with a day dedicated to showcasing her films during TCM Summer under the STARS event. These individuals each contributed to the industry in their unique ways, leaving a mark on the history of cinema. Says that you're going to marry the girl, and I said, yeah, that's it exactly. What'd she say? The film was well received by critics, 
with many praising its humor and heartwarming storyline. Audiences also enjoyed the movie, finding it to be a delightful and entertaining watch. The film received several accolades, including nominations for Academy Awards in various categories, such as Best Picture and Best Director. These accolades signify recognition for the hard work and talent of those involved in the film, from the actors to the production team. Being nominated for prestigious awards like the Academy Awards was a validation of the quality and impact of the movie showcasing the dedication and skill of everyone who contributed to its creation. Receiving positive critical reception and being nominated for awards can open up new opportunities for those involved in the film, helping to boost their careers and solidify their standing in the industry. It can also lead to increased visibility and more chances to work on future projects, cementing their place in the world of cinema. Overall, the critical reception, audience reactions, and awards, and nominations received by the film underline its success and the talent of those behind it, promising a bright future for all involved. In a dramatic turn of events, Ann Miller suffered a tragic incident resulting in a miscarriage after a physical altercation with Reese Llewellyn Milner, her husband. Additionally, Charles Lane made uncredited appearances on the Donna Reed show in a noteworthy episode titled All Mothers Worry. On a different note, Samuel S. Hines, a former lawyer from Pasadena, CA, transitioned from his legal career to become a full-time actor, showcasing his talent outside of the courtroom on the stage and eventually on the big screen. These individuals each had unique paths that intertwined with the world of film, contributing to the industry in their distinct ways. I had a horse friends. Oh, I didn't know anybody had that many friends anymore. Newspaper men heard about Kirby. During the making of the film in 1938, the cast and crew had many memorable moments. The actors often shared laughter and stories off camera, creating a warm atmosphere on set. Behind the scenes, there were mishaps and improvisations that added to the movie's charm. The crew worked tirelessly to bring the director's vision to life, facing challenges with creativity and teamwork. Overall, the experience of making the movie was filled with camaraderie and dedication, resulting in a timeless classic. In the movie from 1938, Eddie Rochester Anderson, son of minstrel performer Big Ed Anderson, and circus performer Ella Mae Anderson, appeared in vaudeville song and dance acts with his brother Cornelius. Spring Byington, a close friend and acting mentor of Harry Morgan, plays a significant role. Lionel Barrymore's character's use of crutches in the film was due to his increasing arthritis. Although it was incorporated into the plot as an accident from sliding down a banister, this contrasted with his withdrawal from another movie due to his health earlier in the year. Um, tell Grandpa that I love him just as much as ever, but in terror The film holds a significant place in cinema history for its comedic and heartwarming storytelling. Its influence on future filmmaking is evident in the way it blended humor with social commentary, a technique that later became a staple in Hollywood films. The movie also inspired subsequent works by showcasing the importance of family, love, and following one's passion. Its legacy lives on through the valuable lessons it teaches about life and happiness. In the 1938 movie, Lionel Barrymore and Spring Byington transitioned from playing a married couple in a previous film to portraying father and daughter. H.B. Warner had roles in nine Best Picture nominees, with five of them directed by Frank Capra, including the film. Frank Capra selected James Stewart for a role based on his earlier performance in Navy Blue and Gold in 1937. Not for that twitch, Mr. Blakely. In the 1970s, a Broadway show featured Ann Miller Tapp dancing in large, stiff wigs. This led to playful parodies on TV shows like The Carol Burnett Show. A review called Forbidden Broadway, 
even spoofed her, singing about hitting a studio head with her hair. Jean Arthur spent a year and a half in analysis with Eric Fromm, a psychologist and philosopher. Initially, Spring Byington and Lionel Barrymore were set to portray Ma and Pa Hardy in a movie series, but they were replaced before filming began. These backstage stories add depth to the history of this classic film. All out. I know now the situation between Tony and me is... In the final scenes, Mr. Kirby's male assistant is played by Ian Wolfe, who later became known for his role as Mr. Aitaz in a Star Trek episode. Miss Shower's father served in the Russian Navy, and Miss escaped with his mother during the Bolshevik Revolution. He later found success in the U.S. after a challenging journey. Ward Bond faced difficulties in his career due to his political views, but later made a remarkable comeback in a television series. Anthony, we've got to do something about this game. All right, I'll fire. This isn't a business. James Stewart had a notable start in his acting career while at Princeton, catching the eye of a talent scout at a play. Despite his distinctive voice, James Milliken never ventured into voice over work, unlike other actors known for their voices. The film reunited Lionel Barrymore and Donald Meek, who had worked together before on Mark of the Vampire. These connections added depth to the cast and brought familiarity to the movie. Well, this guy and I had this idea. James Stewart, who served in the Army before Pearl Harbor, flew combat missions overseas during World War II. He is among a select group of actors with multiple films in IMDb's top 250 list, alongside Robert De Niro and Harrison Ford. On a personal note, Spring Byington welcomed her second child, a daughter named Lois Chandler. These details offer a glimpse into the lives and achievements of the individuals associated with the film. The Ballet Russes de Monte Carlo, emerging from the disbanded Ballet Russes, performed in exile due to the Russian Revolution and never returned to their homeland. Kitgard, who worked with FBO in the 1920s, frequently teamed up with Al Cook. Together, they starred in comedy series such as The Beauty Parlor and Wisecrackers, as well as films including Her Father Said No and Legionnaires in Paris. Additionally, James Stewart, Gene Arthur and Edward Arnold were featured in Frank Capra's Mr. Smith Goes to Washington in 1939. I thought I'd take a parting shot before I left. I certainly have messed things up beautifully, haven't I? Gene Arthur, portraying Alice Sycamore, felt out of place in the role, viewing it as too conventional for her quirky personality. She identified more with the eccentric Vanderhoff Sycamore family members. Harry Davenport, a key figure in the Actors' Equity Association's origins, led the White Rats in a successful strike against unfair treatment of actors by influential Broadway figures. This led to improvements like plumbing in dressing rooms and a shortened work week. The film adaptation expanded the play's 19-character cast to feature 153 parts, enriching the storytelling depth. It's called The New Monster. Oh. Playing boogeyman. In several films nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars, Charles Lane appeared with one of the movies. The film winning the award, Harry Davenport was in three consecutive Best Picture winners and shared this achievement with another actor. Thirteen performers from the film also acted in another movie. In the film, Lionel Barrymore, who had two daughters with his first wife, lost both of them at a young age. He later chose Irene Fenwick over his previous wife, who was a friend of his brother John Barrymore. Additionally, Harry Davenport received recognition for his long years in show business with a special chair from the cast and crew of Gone with the Wind. Furthermore, a memorable line from this movie, confidentially, she stinks, spoken by Colin Cuff. The ballet master about a student appeared in some Looney Tunes cartoons from the 1940s. These facts add depth and interest to the behind-the-scenes history of the show. Well, he's bound to get married, and suppose the wrong girl gets it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Have you watched the film? 
and been moved by its story? What parts resonated with you? Share your thoughts and experiences with the movie. How did it shape your views on cinema? Your voice matters. So engage with us by liking, sharing, and subscribing for more cinematic explorations. Worked like a charm when I was a baby, and since then I've had so much practice that I'm terrific. Here, I'll give you a general idea. Wow!